my channel. So today I am doing a video that I told you guys I would do a while ago, and I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Dooney and Burke Florentine Toscana uh, small front zip crossbody bag, which is this one here, and the Dooney and Burke Florentine Toscana small messenger bag. Okay, so both of these bags retail for the same price, $3.98. And I just brought out the two that I have in the same color, so you can get a good comparison uh, with the colors, <laughs> which are the same. But yeah, so, all right. I'll tell, tell you right off the bat, I like this one better, the small front zip crossbody bag. And what I like about it is, I like how it looks actually a little bit better than this one. I like that it has a little front zipper on it. I like the, just everything about it. I like that it's a little bit slimmer. You kind of see that there. So it actually lays up against you a little bit better and it stands up on its own because the bottom is flat. Whereas the small crossbody right here has this extra piece of, um, leather in the center so you can get it to stand up but not when you have stuff in it especially you can try to do like a balancing act but no matter what it still has that center piece there so it's going to be all wobbly you know what i mean so i don't like that i can't stand it up straight and you can with this one so that's my first thing about the two other than that they're really really similar in size though I mean, honestly, th this one, you know, is a little bit taller, but it's really only because of this little piece right here. And then, like I said, this is just a little bit wider, but not really by a ton. They pretty much fit the same amount of stuff, but I do like the fact that this one does have that extra front zipper on there. So I do really like that. And I like the detail of it too. So this is hopefully giving you... Um, Oh, this is the, the color of this is Bordeaux, by the way. Okay. I love the hardware on these things. And I love these straps, too. Okay. And then here's the back of them. Okay. So I, I can't really hold up both of them at the same time and show you the insides of them. So we're just going to do one at a time. All right. But I love the front zipper on this thing because it, you can open it up and the one side, I, did talk, I talked about this in my video, the other one, is gusseted right here. So you can actually fit your a card holder in here really nicely and keep it kind of secure and it just zips right up really nice. So I like that about this. Because it's like quick easy access. Now like a phone, um, it, that won't fit. You would have to have like, I don't know, a really small phone with no case on it. I don't think that would even fit, but yeah. And it's all leather um, lined with that tan cream colored leather. And they have the, well, all the Toscana lines have this little luggage tag thing, which is really cute. I do like that feature. And with the palladium plated hardware, and that just opens right up like that. And then in the inside, let me take out the strap which I love these straps. These straps are so comfortable. They're a nice um, width and they're just super soft and they're extremely adjustable. So they're great for people of all heights. And you can take off the straps completely too because that totally detaches. So you can totally take off the strap. If you don't like this little luggage thing hanging around, you can take that off too. All right, and then the inside here, of course, it's got the suede. And this is like a heavy piece of stuff because of the plaque right there, that's really nice. So on the inside, there we go. So it's got the one zipper pocket, the main zipper pocket, slip pocket, the dumb key keeper um, with the dumb hardware that doesn't even match. Look, it's a gun metal. It looks a little bit better, but I don't know why they do the gun metal thing. Okay, and then on the other side, you have your Dooney Burke plate there, and then another slip pocket, and then of course it's lined all the way around the top edge, whatever, in that 
really pretty nice brown suede. So it's an extremely well-made bag. It smells amazing. I love how this smells. And everything I, it fits in here perfectly. Like with my sunglass cases, I kind of stand them up and they just fit in there really, really nicely. So I love this bag. All right. Oh, you know what? I have a little, um, I'll just show you the SKU tag thingy if you want want to know the information on it or whatever but this is it right there you can see that okay but yeah it just says small front zip crossbody okay so there's that one and it does, I think, in my opinion, this looks, it reminds me of the Hermes Evelyn bag, just like the shape of it, and even like the whole thing, really. I don't know, for some reason, it just reminds me of that bag, and I really like that bag, but I actually like this one better because this doesn't have holes in it, and it costs like one hundredth of the price. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me set that here, and then let's talk about the small messenger bag. All right. So no pockets or anything like that on the outside. Just the little tongue closure thing there. And here's the inside. The same thing. It's got all that really pretty, beautiful, soft um, brown suede there. And let me take out the strap. And it's got um, the same strap. However, this one is non-detachable, so you can't take this off. So that's kind of another thing, too. Like, if you wanted to put a different strap on there, you could on that bag, but this one you can't because you can't take off the strap at all. It's completely sewn in there on both sides like that. But the um, length adjustment and everything on it is the same as the other one. And then on the inside, it has the same exact setup as the other one too, actually. Exactly the same setup. The one zipper pocket, the slip pocket, and then the other side with the um, slip pocket and then the key keeper too. So I feel like the other one is, for the same amount of money, I like the other one better because you get that one extra zipper pocket on the outside, plus the, the straps are totally removable. I like that you can do that with that bag. Um, and when you look at the inside of this, like, yeah, it's a little bit wider, but really, when you're looking at it on the inside, you, you can't, it does not seem like this is bigger or wider whatsoever. If anything, I feel like the other one seems bigger. So, I don't know. And like I said, they're the same price. And I'll show you the little tag skew thing for this one, too. Yeah, the small messenger bag in Bordeaux, 398, so that's... That one there okay and I have I think I showed you guys this one in my Navy because I have this one in Navy somewhere sitting I think I don't know what I did with it it's somewhere maybe it's upstairs okay and then I have it this one in the Bordeaux and then uh, the what color is it? Is it ginger or natural? I can't remember what color that one is. I'm looking at it. I can't remember. I think it's ginger. I think. Yeah, it looks ginger. I'm pretty sure it's ginger. I talked about it in, my, in another video. You just look at that video. So there we go. Uh, that's my comparison video for you guys between these two bags. So if you're looking at these bags and trying to decide on one, I would definitely recommend going with um, this one here, the small front zip crossbody bag instead of the small messenger bag. Because of what I said, I like the fact that this is just a little bit slimmer, but it holds the same amount. You get an extra zipper pocket in the front, it stands on its own, and the straps are totally detachable as they're not with this one. So you're, you're losing the ability to completely detach the strap 
and you're losing a pocket on the outside. The inside setup is exactly the same and they are the same exact price. Um, so really it's just personal preference on the kind of style. I think they both look um, really nice uh, and you can't really go wrong with either one, but just I found that using both of these bags, I just gravitated towards this style over this style. So I've used this one and then the other one more than I have this one here and the navy one as well. So that's my opinion and my review, comparison, whatever you wanna call it on these two bags. Hopefully that was able to help uh, somebody other than that, this Toscana line, I'm a huge, huge fan of it. I think the leather is absolutely amazing. It smells really good. The quality is fantastic. It's all It has the palladium plated hardware, which is really nice. They all come with these nice luggage tag thingies. The straps are super comfortable on this entire line of uh, Dooney and Burke. So I really do recommend these bags. And right now you can find them on the I Love Dooney site. Um, and I think like all of them that they have left at least, they're all 50% off. And if you go through Ebates, which you, if you haven't done that, you need to be shopping through Ebates people because you'll get, I think you get $10 back on your first purchase or something like that, plus whatever the cashback is for that particular store. So in all, in all my videos, I do have the Ebates link in the description thing. So if you just click the link, it'll take you to Ebates and then you can, all you do is I think give them your email and your name and a phone number and then that's it. And it's so easy, like it's not complicated, you guys. Like I get another check next month for a couple hundred bucks, just for clicking on a button, literally, just for clicking on a button. Did I tell you guys my last check that I got? It was almost a thousand dollars. They just deposited right into my PayPal account just for clicking on a button that takes me to the website. So for Dooney and Burke, the, Dooney and Burke's on there and I love Dooney. So you just open up your Ebates tab and then you click on your favorites. I have Dooney and Burke and I love Dooney and my favorites. Click that button and it opens up the window to Dooney and Burke or to I love Dooney. And then you don't have to do anything else. You literally, you do nothing else. That's it. There's no submitting anything. There's no nothing. That's it. And then they give you money for doing that. Hello? You better be doing it. Because I'm telling you right now, I get... Okay, obviously I'm getting excited about it because I get really excited about things that I'm passionate for, but I'm also passionate about saving money and shopping smart. Well, this is smart. And I wish I would have known about this years ago when it first came out because you bet your ass I would have been all over it way long ago for as much money as I spend and how much shopping I do online. So hell yeah, um, I get bags paid for just for shopping for bags. <laughs> so, okay, you guys, well, there we go. And if you have any questions about these, just let me know. All right, you guys. Uh, so until next time, you guys keep it tight. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>